What is this? What? Thanks, Casey. I'll open this up right now. You. All right, guys. Good morning. Woke up and it is absolutely downpouring outside. Could be a cloud inversion. Could be bluebird up top. Sometimes that happens, but I don't really even have a clue right now, it doesn't look like it. Me and my buddy Brian Wentworth used to actually live here and we were in the back of my Ford Ranger with no cap on it. My God, you're in boilet right now, dude. The what? What up, dog? What's the plan, dude? This yeah. sucks. Dude, yeah, fuck. You think it's nice it. up top or no? No. <laughs> I love the confidence. <laughs> We're about to go to the cafe and get some internet. Yeah? Watch skate movie and hang out. Sounds way better. Yeah. <laughs> they got hot water there, right? Yeah. Oh, it's sick. New plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're headed to the High Mountain Cafe just to kick it for a little while and see if this rain can pass by. But yeah, I was saying that me and my buddy Brian and Anthony Corbo of Crowbar used to live in my 91 Ford Ranger with no top on it. And we were posted at the top of the mountain one night and it started downpouring randomly at like 2 a.m. And we just got completely smoked with all of our gear. And then that's when we ended up initially getting our first ever Mount Hood Summit condo, aka the Scummits. How far we've come. <laughs> Decided to head up here and see if we couldn't get lucky and sure enough it looks super nice <laughs> it's already 1 30 they canceled holy bully for the day um, but I'm gonna try to get some turns in while I can before it's too late kind of blew it already but when I'm done I'm gonna teach you guys how I moved to government camp like five years ago and just made snowboarding every day year-round a real-life thing and how you can do it too if you wanted to but for now I'm gonna go try to get some runs in before it's too late <laughs> My car! Oh my god! <laughs> the dream!
right guys, off the hill. Had some fun up there, crazy weather conditions. I'm actually gonna start saving some clips to try to put together a spring edit, but for the rest of today's edit, I'm gonna try and explain to you guys how I made it so that I can snowboard every single day, year round in the US. And it was like five years ago. It's a long story, I'm gonna try to knock it out right now. But uh, here we are, Mount Hood. There should normally be a giant mountain in the background, but the weather is so crazy. And uh, yeah, the clouds are clogging it up right now, but here we go. Back in 2011, I had like my first real park snowboarding season. I consider it my first year of snowboarding and I was filming a bunch, trying my hardest to get as good as I can and I put out a video that got me some sponsors. One of them was Global Mind Elevation, a snowboard company. They flew me out to Mount Hood and I met up with the After Hours crew, kids like Luke Haddock, Yale Cousineau, and I got pushed right into the mix my second year, because this was summertime now, at Mount Hood doing some filming with them and it was just a week trip and while I was there Luke Haddock described to me how he came out with $500 and literally had been there for three months and had just been making it work since spring living off almost nothing and I had been back in Connecticut working full time for almost a year had at least five grand saved and to me it was mind-boggling that you could actually snowboard somewhere year round so with all that happening Another snowboard company, actually a binding company, hit me up called Bon Iver. And they flew out me, my friend Crowbar, and my other friend Brian Wentworth out to Mount Hood. And we were going to try and make some edits for them. And the guy bought us a summer pass. We were hanging out here. It was snowing and raining, and the conditions were insane every day. And we had no vehicle, we had no way to get to the mountain. And so we would hitchhike almost every single day for up and down the mountain for the first three months until I ended up buying a pickup truck off Craigslist for 1400 bucks, which is the Ford Ranger that you guys have been seeing over the past six months. And uh, I've had that thing ever since. We lived in it without a cap, just living in the back, doing some camping in the woods. With the weather, it's a little crazy, but if you have tents, you can camp anywhere you want. There are beautiful lakes. It is just the most insanely gorgeous woods and you're allowed as long as you clean up after yourself to camp pretty much anywhere you want. It's free living. There's a lot of food around here in organic places that you can buy your own food. The summer pass is basically the hardest problem. Um, I was fortunate enough to get mine paid for and covered through a sponsor, but I think it's about $700. If you can save up, your best bet is just buy it up front. But if you can't, they allow a work program where you can either be a lifty just like at any mountain that you're at, or you can do park crew or any type of mountain job and they will give you a free pass as long as you're working so that's how you can shred for free at the mountain how you can live for free and just post up in your car camp there's a million lakes it is the actual dream life everybody around here is on the same energy and have pushed away and given up all their stuff like i did from connecticut i uh honestly quit my job i had to pretty much sell everything and make just a crazy crazy drastic life change because I knew this is what I wanted to do and uh, I just hadn't been blessed with the knowledge that you could actually snowboard year round. So here I am now five years later explaining to you guys how I did it and uh, yeah some other amazing amazing tips and ideas that I can show you guys on how to do it. We're gonna go and check out right now but uh, whew, this is the zone where it actually all started. Bon Iver flew us out and the Collins Lake hotels here is where we stayed at first so whoo crazy it all comes around full circle but let's go check out Mount Hood this is also a trail that I used to jog which is about a mile through the woods here circling this lake with the mountain in the background and whew, it's unbelievable not just for snowboarding year-round but so much more So we are gonna start it off this little tour with one of the most legendary zones right here. In this small circle, we have got the start to Government Camp Loop Road. 
which is basically all of government camp. Government camp is the small town right underneath Mount Hood here. And it is a one, maybe one and a half mile loop off of the main road. It is connected to this rest stop right here, which is extremely free. It's got outlets, so you know that is the actual plug. And then I'm gonna follow us right over here. Within eyes distance to the summits. Oh, here we are. The famous Mount Hood summits, AKA the scummits. The uh, cheapest, most affordable places that you can live here at Mount Hood. Uh, if you're gonna live here year round, you might as well get a house. It's super affordable. I have ridden down on July 4th, I believe it was, we got snow from the mountain, six miles through the woods to the back of these apartments. When Crowbar left, me and my buddy Brian, we got a spot here and it was super affordable. I think it was $300 a month for one person or if you wanted to split it with two people, it was 500 total. And uh, it's a common area in the middle with four separate bedrooms and each bedroom has shower, bath, and then doesn't really get any better than being able to ride to your cribby. And we would walk from here about 0.2 miles maybe, right over to the entrance of Timberline Road. Here it is from the main road, the cutoff. That leads to a windy six mile stretch all the way up the mountain. Me and my buddy Brian, and crowbar would no joke hitchhike every single day. And honestly, if you're at Mount Hood here, pick up hitchhikers because there's only one way up and there's only one way down and we all have the same goal. We're just trying to get up to the mountain and do something. So the amount of times we hitchhiked here was unbelievable. Finally got a truck, changed everything. All right, now we're gonna go into Govey. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the small town. camp it's a hotel the high cascade places a um, couple houses that you can crash at and um, Charlie's a bar general store and a Best Western that is it like I was telling you guys it's super easy to live here you can camp as you see all the cars on the side of the road are just legendary kids that sold everything they have or gave up everything that they have in pursuit of trying to follow their dreams and some people that's snowboarding every day or skiing every day and they just want to come and rip and Mount Hood is the zone to do that. You can camp. There are so many good people that will help you out, hook you up, give you a place to stay, let you crash with them, camp with them, hitchhike, give you rides around, film, whatever. It's the zone. You just got to deal with a lot of rain and a lot of downtime because the mountain's only open for like five hours a day and it does get boring. There's snow here year round, even when they do close the mountain for uh, maintenance, I think is what they say. There are spots that you can hike in the woods. You can continue snowboarding absolutely year round if you want to. And I love it here. I'm stoked to be back. I'm not going to be spending all summer here because I got a lot of other adventures I'm on, but highly recommended for the shred hearted humans. That's it though. Sea vlogs, we're out today. Uh, hopefully, tomorrow's weather is better. We can actually get some snowboarding in. Woo! We're out. The dream!